Inside this 40-foot container, we control the climate, and that's what it's all about. We actually use the technology, both software and hardware, to be able to monitor and control the environment for the type of crops that we want to grow. That We are a non-pesticide system, indoor vertical farm. It's, uh, it's about sustainability, how to use water better when it comes to agriculture. So I did that for fun for about three years or so. And then from then, I guess a passion becomes work, and then from work it becomes a company, and now this is where we're at today. Urbanization is happening more and more and more every day. By 2050, we're going to have over 9 billion people in the world. Everybody's moving into the city, predicting about 75% or so. Why is it that food is being grown outside of our living area? So land, we know, is a problem. So imagine if it's land, we're sitting here on this 800 square meter and we can have 18 containers here. We should solve the land problem. We can be able to grow food where we live. We can be able to eat within the day. I think that's the future. Um, right now it's, it's snowing in, in other part of the world. Why not have a container there and supply vegetables in the cold? And then for an example in Middle East, where it's completely hot, we like to have a container out there to feed the people within the day. Vietnam is one of the highest cancer rate when it comes to or potentially food poisoning. Uh, does that apply with the food production system or is that, you know, other reasons? And that's why, you know, we decided with the motivation and the passion what we do, we say, hey, this would be a great alternative to what's going on in the market. We talked to a couple of different food distributors and they see that uh, with this container, uh, it would be highly beneficial for them to work on getting this produce placed where the groceries are at so then the consumer can be able to, um, to, uh, to take it off the shelf within the day. We're, we're in the United States, we're in Asia, and we're in a smaller part of Europe. So we're hoping to be able to expand this and let everybody know that there's this technology out there.